since Princess Peach Showtime is available now, there's, we believe, nowhere else to go really other than that what Nintendo has once again prepared for us. Paper Mario 1000 Years Door is scheduled to come out on May 23 and is available to pre-purchase on the Nintendo eShop too. Now you probably know this already, but if you don't, this is a remake of a game that's 20 years old that came out first through the GameCube system with the same name, now offering revamped graphics and much more quality of life improvements. Published and developed by Nintendo. Number two, we have Endless Ocean Luminous, which is a sequel to a 15 year old Wii original game that is still one of the most enjoyable scuba diving sim games ever made. It's a bigger adventure this time around. Arika, the fine team behind the first one, promises to offer a 32 player multiplayer of 500 different species, some of them even sting today, all of that coming out on May 2nd this year. Seed of Life will be hitting Switch and other platforms on May 27, developers announced. They also came up with a brand new trailer, assuming you haven't seen it because it's the first time mentioned in our videos. Seed of Life is actually a science fiction style emotional journey. It's set in an open world, and what I'd personally recommend is you get behind a desktop or a laptop, play this game's demo on Steam, and if you like it, go for the full version on the hybrid console. Other than that, Seed of Life is actually one of the prime examples of a hit or miss. Moving on to number 4, we have Crown Wars. Crown Wars, the Black Prince, figuratively speaking, however, uh, where were we? Yeah, it's a strategy turn-based role-playing game in a single player, in nature, actually set around the 14th century France backdrop during the Hundred Years' War, where you actually play as a nobleman, some warrior captain, dealing with a conflict between four powerful houses, and hopefully, you know, somehow save the kingdom. Here's a trailer, Crown Wars is on its way to all consoles on May 23, as you give it a shot on a free demo.
coming up behind that at number 5, we have Biomutant. Now, we've mentioned Biomutant possibly over 400 times at the least, but if you skip through every single one of them, it's an open world action RPG martial arts based adventure, and you play this mechanical enhanced mutated fox in an end of the world version of our world, and he's going through a tough time. After four consecutive delays, this bad boy is finally coming to the Hibbit console on May 14, and we got a new trailer for it too. Unfortunately, the war has only just begun. Moving on to number 6. First off, there's a demo for you to try on the Nintendo eShop right now, and a full release on May 23, the game Morbid. You can see, Morbid, now retitled to Morbid Lords of Ire, is a Souls-like hack-and-slash role-playing game that started life over 4 years ago with this first entry. It's inspired by the Souls series, specifically the Bloodborne, but it's an ARPG in nature. It's not in top-down, so it's not like Diablo. It's in third person, but then bringing over all the goodness of a Diablo-like. This is how it looks. Moving on to number 7, we have a GIF due out on May 9 this year. This particular GIF is a puzzle side-scrolling adventure that is inspired by the Little Nightmare games about a pretty tiny little protagonist that is trying to escape a sinking ship. A ship with a few changing maps as the story goes forward. And you've also got the responsibility to help other NPCs along the way. And what better gift than life itself. All in all, gift is coming to pieces in Switch only on May 9. On second hands, number 8 has to go to the game Capes, which is sitting on the Nintendo eShop with a demo since the beginning of April, offering one of the finest casts of characters in a turn-based tactical strategy package. Now it also won't hurt to know that it's published by Deadlick Entertainment, which is the same team who brought Power Trauma. There's a bunch of other games. Capes, however, your job is to build a team of heroes, or actually up to four different heroes, to work together in each mission, saving people, either played online or in single player with AI. Oh, Idea Factory went on and announced Neptunia, series' new spin-off. Go by the name Neptunia Game Maker or Evolution. Saying the new game will release on May 14 worldwide on Switch and other platforms as well, several editions included with different perks. On a need-to-know basis, this entry follows a story with an alternative version of Neptunia herself, offering an overhauled battle system and expanded up to four-player team play offline, however, and much more quality of life improvements.
quick mention over here, it's just a 30 second trailer. On 28th of May, you will be able to play Construction Sim 4, not only on Switch, but also on mobiles and PCs via Steam. Developers announced. The game will offer different locations and construction sites you've never seen before, all with distinct features, having a different kind of challenge. Picking up after four years since its first free-to-play game, Don't Be Afraid has a sequel delivered by the end of May this year. Publishers developers just came out with a trailer for it and a release window of May. The new game has now made an Unreal Engine. You see, Don't Be Afraid is a first-person psychological escape horror game where the main character is kidnapped by a pair of serial killers and has to play the game to just get out. It's basically the movie Saw, but it's a game. World of Goo 2, I'd have to admit, it's personally the one I'm rooting for the most in the list. Well, not because it's graphically a groundbreaking game or super creative in design, but I'm an old boy and when this game's first entry came out 15 years ago, it was as if I finally found my first good game in a while. World of Goo, for those of you unfamiliar, is a physics-based dramatic puzzle game picking up after the story of the prequel with better graphics and hopefully coming out on May 23, developers announced. to solve. A strange magic is turning the world upside down in Zephyr Heights. Pony franchise is a new family-friendly platform adventure game in the making too, called My Little Pony, a Zephyr Heights mystery. And if I have to remind you, it's actually from the same team who made previously all the Paw Patrol, you know, E-rated games especially on Switch. The new attempt over here is no different either. It's a top-down casual game with co-op support, a pretty lively colors and cute cast of horse heroes that you can play on the go when it releases on May 17 this year. Enjoy the fun mini games. Together, we can do it. Welcome to My Little Pony, a Zephyr Heights mystery. Coming our way last night, we've got over here yet another Bandai Namco official entry in its old timer hit, Pac-Man Mega Tunnel Battle Chum Chums. Coming out on May 9, Chum Chum over here is an online exclusive Pac-Man entry using just the same basic formula in addition to the use of items, offering a rather amped up and also mixed up experience for both old and newcomers. Anyway. Pac-Man Mega Tunnel is on its way to Switch and other consoles as well. And last but not least, well, we've got over here the old timer Tohu or Tahua, whatever this series is really called, Mistia's Izakaya, which in fact it's right now one of the most anticipated Switch games on the horizon. Not to mention it's also one of the most well received PC games of all time, literally. If you miss out on this gem, because it kind of looks like it's in Japanese, what you really need to know is that the game is a pixel art style restaurant management sim with the best pixel graphics and some of the finest results into one of the best packages ever made. The game's now in English, it's coming out on Switch on May 2nd, 
this year. Take a look.